Hi there, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is gonna be your reading for August 16th through August 31st, and yay, we made it out of eclipse season. Um, thank you so much for the likes, subscribes, and comments. I love how active you guys are on the videos. It makes me really, really happy. And also, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the personal readings, the energy sessions, and the instant go contacts. You guys have definitely given me a full-time job with this, and I just love bringing my gifts through to you. So thank you for trusting me um, to be a part of your journey. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website that has the different options available for you. Um, I kind of have something in there for everyone. And also I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So what that means is it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. Um, I actually have clients all across the US, Canada, Europe, as far as China and Australia and growing. So um, the, the space between us does not make a difference. The link is below, it's gonna take you to my website it will give you um, extra information. You can read the testimonials and definitely take advantage of the 15% discount that I have for first time clients. So you will see that in the option under the services. And it's a really powerful time to be having energy work done. Um, it's gonna help balance you and center you and just give you um, more more strength in dealing with any of the challenges that you have going on right now. And it just brings overall wellness and peace from within. So again, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website and take advantage of the 15% discount for first time energy clients. Also, you can find me on instant go, which is a really fast way you can um, send a, a text or a question and get an answer back. So the link is below for instant go as well. Um, and I think that's it for Shop Talk. We will get into the readings now. Reading for Taurus. How are you guys doing? Um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Again, for August 16th through the 31st. I'm curious. In the last reading, you, know, you guys had this beautiful soulmate love. Um, how is that going? Has it worked out? Let's see what we've got for you today. Taurus, August 16th through the 31st. Oops. Okay. So first out, we've got the High Priestess card, which kind of came falling out. So how are you guys doing as far as trusting your intuition and really listening to that inner knowing? This, this card is very much about having all the knowledge that you need about any situation in your life. So having the knowledge to make the right decision or to choose the right path. Um, are you listening to that and are you honoring it? Um, I think this eclipse season really shook everybody from the inside out. So you may have gotten really clear on things to let go from your past. And I see this moon down here. So, um, you know, really trusting the energies that you've let go of and trusting your path. But this, you know, this scroll right here is, is having all the information that you need to make a decision about something. Um, but for whatever reason, you're holding back a little bit. So I've got the four of coins here, with a, which is a little bit of like restricted energy. So you kind of like withdraw within. Uh, you could be watching your finances. You know, sometimes this does relate to money. I'm not feeling so much that this is money for you. I think this is more you're kind of holding back with your time and with your emotions. I feel like in a relationship. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. You may just need to take a step back for yourself, but I just want you to be careful not to miss any opportunities when you're in this energy. Because if you look at this guy, he's like, he's very guarded. He has his heart covered. So his heart is like not open at all. And he's totally missing this beautiful city and horizon behind him. So sometimes when we pull back like this and we shut down, we, we're closing off, you know, beautiful opportunities from the universe. So, you know, with the High Priestess card, it's like maybe you're taking a step back to really evaluate and get clear on what your intuition is asking you for. 
Um, because the next card out we have is the Six of Cups, which is a beautiful soulmate love. So you could have somebody coming back to you from the past. Um, this is a card of nostalgia and, you know, a lover from either the past in this life or a past life. But it, either way, it's a very deep, like, inner knowing. Like, you've already known this person. It's a soulmate connection. It's very, very deep. It's divinely guided. And it's just a beautiful, childlike, innocent love. So... Uh, you know, if you're holding back a little bit, if you're in a relationship and you're holding back, you may be closing yourself off to really having a true connection with this person. If you're single, I feel like be sure that you aren't completely closed off and you're open to opportunity because this person wants to come in for you. So just be aware of that to keep yourself open so that the universe can bring you the right the right person and the right situations and you, you'll be a little more trusting in your movement forward. Let's see what else we've got for you. Yeah, so there's something that you are fighting with yourself about. I've got the Seven of Wands here. The Seven of Wands is an inner struggle and an inner battle, and it's with yourself. So what are you fighting and what are you holding back from? Because I feel like you have a really beautiful love right in front of you, but for whatever reason, you're either afraid or you're... Maybe you're not sure if it's the right partner, but like you're blocked. For whatever reason, I'm just feeling that you're blocked. Um, so what has you afraid of this connection? I just, I keep feeling that. It's like you're fighting the connection. The universe wants to bring it into you, but you're fighting it. So I just would really like examine yourself and where you feel like you're limited because these two energies together are a little bit stuck like you're stuck in yourself like you are blocking yourself um, if that makes sense because I've got the king of wands energy next I'm feeling like this is where you want to be so like in your mind I feel like this is where you want to be but there's something that you're holding back on. It's like you want to be this like strong, passionate, sure lover, but you're holding back and you're blocked a little bit. And the only thing you can get out of yourself is like this playful, goofy love, which you know you want something more mature and you know this partner wants something more mature. So I'm feeling like it's interesting. I'm feeling like this is what you want to be but this is what is showing up. This is who you're showing up as. And I think you want to be the king of wands, but as long as you, as long as you're holding back and you're closed off and you're fighting with yourself, the king of wands energy can't come through. You're gonna get, you know, a little bit more immature energy, which is the page of cups. It's like a playful, goofy love. So I am definitely feeling these are both of your energies, but one of them is where you want to be and one of them is where you actually are. Kind of interesting how that's coming out. So I'm curious, what is it that's like holding you back? I, I know that you want this love. This love wants you. to see this so I do see that you're gonna move forward from this inner struggle that you are having so I've got the chariot card the chariot is about confidence so yay you are gonna get your confidence back Taurus don't worry and it's also a card of movement forward 
and it's moving forward in the right direction for you and your soul and your highest path. So, you know, it's also a card of balance. Once you do come into balance, you can move forward in the right direction. If you're if you're unbalanced or, or you know, not in your best self, you're going to get pulled, you know, one way or the other. So, I'm feeling like once this clarity or once this clarity comes in for you, the confidence will be there and you're ready to move forward and you're ready for like the details to be worked out. Eight of coins is very much the details being worked out by the universe. It's focusing right on the task at hand. You're not worried about the future. You're not worried about the past. You're just right here in the present, which tells me that you're really going to face yourself and whatever this is that's holding you back because this is where you're headed. This is so beautiful. You're headed to the 10 of coins. I kind of feel like you're going there whether you're ready or not because you know this is the path you're supposed to be on with the partner you're supposed to be with. You know, this is beautiful. Six of cups and ten of coins, what more could you ask for? You know, the ten of coins is long-term love, it's security, it's like financial security, it's love security, it's security within your family and your community. So I think this is a really beautiful reading. Just know that you're going to have a little bit of inner struggle with yourself, Taurus, and you're going to work through it. So just stay in touch with yourself. Stay in touch with your, your intuition. Stay focused on, you know, the goal that you have, what you want, which is, you know, a beautiful partnership for life. And trust that you're moving forward. So... I love that. Um, I'm going to see if there's any last message for you here from a different deck. But, you know, with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Coins, it's a pretty solid love and a solid relationship. Yes. Okay. I love it. So the last message out for you is divine timing. Oh, trusting the process, knowing that everything is happening right as it should, and just allowing that. So even amidst the struggles and you being a little bit shut down or a little bit, you know, reserved, that's all part of the process. So it's okay. Just stay with that energy and keep trusting that, you know, it will move forward. So divine timing. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. Beautiful reading. Um, let me know in the comments if it resonates with you. I am not able to respond to all the comments, but I love them and I read every single one. So thank you for that. And if it didn't resonate, you can watch your moon sign or your rising sign um, as well, or even your Venus sign. Um, if you want a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website with the different options, and we can go deeper into your specific situation. Also, um, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing. So um, the link is below for my website. It will you know, take you to where there's more information, read the testimonials, and take advantage of the 15% discount that I have for first-time energy clients, all right? That's it for now, Taurus. Uh, wishing you all the best, and I will see you for the first um, half of September readings. Take care.